Hello, I'm Kevin J. Matthew from Materialize UK. Today I'll be showing you how to use the Export 3D View and Send to PAX tools to send 3D models back to the PAX system within Materialize Mimix Imprint. In Mimix Imprint, once you have captured your regions of interest or ROIs, or if you have generated 3D parts from your ROIs, you can save these entities back to PAX in a DICOM file format. Today, I'll be showing you three different tools which enable you to do just that. Export 3D view, export 360 degree view, and send to PAX. For this tutorial, we will use a skull dataset which would potentially be used to plan an orthognathic case. You can use case relevant ROIs or parts as inputs for these tools. So first of all, I will show you how to use the export 3D view tool. You need to first make sure that your required region of interest is displayed within the 3D viewport in the bottom right hand corner. In this case, my required ROI is the whole skull. Now I will reorientate the whole skull ROI to the anterior view by clicking on the A position within the orientation cube. Next, I will click on the Export 3D View tool represented by this camera icon within the general toolbar to take a snapshot of the current ROI view in the 3D viewport. This snapshot will be saved as a DICOM file within a folder next to the project file. Now, I will show you how to use the export 360 degree view tool within Mimix imprint. You need to first make sure that your required part models are displayed within the 3D viewport in the bottom right hand corner. In this case, my required parts are mandible and cranium. Next, I will click on the export 360 degree view tool in the general toolbar to take a set of screenshots of all parts that are currently visible in the 3D viewport. The software will then take screenshots of all visible parts at every 15 degrees around a central vertical axis. After that, all these screenshots are exported as one DICOM file to a folder next to the project file. If you open this DICOM file within a DICOM viewer and scroll through the image, you will see that the models will rotate around a fixed vertical axis, hence providing a 3D visualization. Once you have exported ROIs or parts using Export 3D, or export 360 degree views, you can then send these DICOM files back to PAX. In order to do this, I will go to File, select the Send to PAX tool. This will open with a PAX DICOM C Store dialog box. Since I already exported my ROIs and parts, Mimix Imprint will automatically remember the export directory and provide you with the details of these 3D and 360 degree view screenshots. I will now select my required 3D views and I can verify them using the preview pane and slider within the dialog box. Next, I will choose which pack system I am sending these DICOM files to by clicking on the drop down menu adjacent to the send to section. Finally, I will click on the Upload button to upload the selected DICOM files to PAX. Once the Upload button has been clicked, a new Send to PAX dialog box will open. This dialog box will show you all pending uploads 
and the history of all previously uploaded files. In order to cancel a file upload, you can press this red cross button. You can also retry uploading a file by pressing on the green re-upload button. Once your required files have been uploaded to PAX, you can close the dialog box by pressing the close button. Any pending uploads will still keep uploading to PAX even after this dialog box is closed. You can also obtain this dialog box after closure by hovering over the general toolbar and selecting the review PAX uploads button. In conclusion, I have shown how the Export 3D view, the Export 360 degree view and the Send to PAX tools work within a materialized Mimix imprint project. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.